Managing fisheries is a complex undertaking. One reason is that managers cannot directly observe the interactions between fish populations, fishing boats, and other marine life. Instead, they use mathematical models to predict the impacts of their management actions. Most of these models reduce complexity by focusing on a single species of fish. By estimating deaths and births, among other factors, the models calculate how many fish can be caught without depleting the population. But single species models may oversimplify another important factor, predator-prey interactions. In general, these models assume that predators eat a small and constant share of fish. In reality, the amount of fish predators consume fluctuates widely and can be a large share of the prey. If fisheries managers ignore this fact, they risk setting catch limits that are too high. Fortunately, several methods are available today to incorporate predators into fisheries management. One simple method is to use a single species model and treat predators as a second fishing fleet, estimating catch from the predator's population and diet. For a more complete picture, managers can sometimes use a multi-species model. In South Africa, scientists did this to investigate interactions between fur seals and two species of hake. The seals eat both hake species, and adults of one hake species often eat juveniles of the other. One proposal was to kill fur seals in order to increase the hake catch. But the multi-species model showed that this would have little impact on the overall catch. That's because reducing the number of seals would allow one species of hake to increase and eat more of the other. Even when predators can't be included in a model, fisheries managers can still take them into account. The Lenfest Forage Fish Task Force recommends that when a predator-prey relationship is unclear, fishing on the prey species should be reduced by 50% or more compared to conventional levels to help protect both predators and prey. For more information, visit pewenvironment.org slash research dash programs.